Welcome to Aruba, a tiny Dutch Caribbean island situated off the coast of Venezuela that is famous for its great weather, white sandy beaches, and for its wrecks that are considered to be the best in the entire Caribbean. Most Caribbean islands only have one or two diveable wrecks, but Aruba has more than 10. The SS Antilla is one of the Caribbean's largest shipwrecks. It was built in Germany in 1939 and served as a U-boat supply ship for submarines when Germany invaded the Netherlands during World War II. Instead of being captured, the captain caused an explosion that sank the ship. The middle of the boat where the explosives were set that sunk the ship looks like a yard sail with twisted metal everywhere and old boat parts strewn about the sea floor. The Antilla is great for penetrations due to the large compartments of the vessel. Make sure you have your REC certification because you won't want to miss out on exploring all the nooks and crannies that this old ship has to offer. The Antilla sits between 40 to 60 feet, or 12 to 18 meters of water, and is covered in corals, sponges, and has plenty of marine life surrounding it, including mores, and you might get lucky enough to spot a sea turtle cruising by. Aruba has two airplane wrecks located just south of Renaissance Island and were intentionally sunk to create dive sites. The first plane is a YS-11, which was sunk in 2004 and is fully intact. This is an old Aruban airliner and the cockpit sits at 52 feet or 16 meters and the tail at 90 feet or 27 meters. The passenger seats and four doors were removed before sinking, making it an easy wreck to penetrate. The plane is situated so that the nose is raised into the air, ready for takeoff. The second plane is a Convair 240, or DC-3, which has been broken into pieces due to a hurricane that ripped through the area in 1999. You can penetrate through part of the fuselage and it lays between 46 feet and 72 feet or 14 meters and 22 meters deep. We found a giant Goliath grouper who had made himself at home in the cockpit. No wonder the plane crashed. The Star Garin lies upside down and is found between 45 to 70 feet or about 13 to 21 meters underwater. Like the Antilla, she's a German cargo ship, yet much smaller, younger, and less popular 
making her the Cinderella of a Reuben shipwrecks. In 1996, the ship had engine failure, which left her unsalvageable. Before she was intentionally sunk in 2000, holes were cut into the sides of the ship to allow divers to safely access the interior. You will see lots of schools of fish, and if you're lucky, an eagle ray passing by to say hello. Located right off of the cruise ship port in about 100 feet or 30 meters of water is the Harbor Tugboat Wreck, which was sunk in the 1980s. Although small, she is nicely covered in corals, which attracts fish and is surrounded by a nice reef to explore once you've exhausted the wreck. The tugboat is home to a variety of creatures, including a pair of green moray eels who live underneath her. The reefs in Aruba are all fairly shallow, with patches of coral and schools of fish. With a very light current, you're able to spend more time finding the smaller creatures that call these reefs their home. You're also likely to spot eels just about everywhere you turn. Watch out for napping scorpion fish. They're the most poisonous fish in the sea. The reefs are also home to various types of anemones, coral, and sponges. <laughs> 